We must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. There is some good in the worst of us and some evil in the best of us. Martin Luther King Hello there, my name is Thomas, and we are going to play Faster Than Light Space Adventures. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. And yeah, I've only had a little bit of experience with this, so I'm going to be starting the series on easy. I've only played one time through on easy mode, so I'm going to keep going on that. And if you don't know how to play, well, basically, they lay out this ship for you, which has certain aspects. Which There's the piloting one. Here's door systems. These open and closed doors. You can upgrade them to uh, <coughs> improve the stats on them, as you can see. We have sensors, which allow us to see. Med bay, which heals our crew members. Oxygen, when we need to open doors to maybe stop a fire or launch an enemy out into space. The oxygen refills in the room a lot quicker when we upgrade that. Here's our shields and our engines. And last but not least are weapons. We have crew members here where we can customize. <coughs> Click on this button here, we can customize their look. There's like two or three for now. So let's get this guy. Blue hair. I like his name. John Caldwell. We got Starger. Let's rename him. Let's put him as the stranger. Yeah. And then uh Let's, where's my mouse? Oh gosh, enter. There we go. And let's make it a girl because girls can be strangers too. And we got Maria over here. Maria. <clears throat> we don't have any other weapon choices, so we're just going to stick with these two for now. And let's see. We have two types of ships. I believe we're just going to go with the Kestrel. Oh, actually, actually, let's name it. What should we name it? We should name it the butt kicker yeah we are going to kick some butts in space alright you guys ready? I'm ready let's go Beep. oh forgot I have to hit enter <coughs> the data you carry is vital to remaining federation fleet you'll need supplies for the journey so make sure to explore each sector before moving to the next but get to the exit before pursuing rebel fleet can oh before the rebel fleet can catch up Tips. Exits. It is tempting to rush for the sector exits, but exploring is the only way to upgrade your ship, so try to get as much out of the, each sector as possible. Okay, let's continue. Alright, and this is the first level right here. There's nothing really going on at the moment. <clears throat> so, and we also have a, a little power supply here, which we can upgrade over here when we hit ship. We use uh, this right here, up here, scraps, to upgrade anything. At this moment, we couldn't upgrade med bay because it requires 35 scraps. 35, 25. So we could upgrade our oxygen, but that's not that important. Uh, the charge time of the engine, we could upgrade as well. And let's see here. Right now, this would take 20 to upgrade our power, but we're not in need of that quite yet so I'm going to just upgrade the shield I like that in battle because it helps us stay alive and I think that's it for now let's make our first jump now let's see here's a store but we don't have any scraps to really well you know what we actually do have scraps so let's go to the store and pick up some stuff the space station here is traveling merchant who shows you his wares. Alright, he's going to show me his stuff. As you notice, this stuff, fuel, allows you to jump. You use one per turn, so let's buy, let's buy one of those. And missiles help you. Certain weapons use missiles. Lasers don't, but I do have a missile launcher right here, our Artemis. So, alright, we're done here. There's nothing else to do, so let's make another jump. Oh, and one other thing to note is that one crew member usually has to stay in the cockpit for you to be able to uh, jump anywhere. Unless you upgrade piloting, which is over here. We can upgrade that in the ship section right here. 
and it'll allow you to have auto piloting but we're not there yet so let's not think about that yet I usually like to move crew members into a an area oops I opened a door there I like to move them to an area nearest where I'm going to need them in battle so you can uh, use your F1 2 3 and 4 when you have a fourth or you know and so on for more crew members to, to highlight them so F1 I have Cadwell he's the pilot so I'm gonna leave him there F2 is stranger and Maria is just sitting so I'm gonna move Maria over to the shield bay just in case that area happens to be attacked so she's there to repair it if anything gets attacked uh, they'll automatically repair it but if they get hurt you have to pay attention to their life bars and heal them at the heal bay anyways let's not get too much into it uh, let's take the longest route though because like they said you can't really upgrade your ship unless you fight and pick up scraps scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship the ship has hastily message you stay out of this or you'll be next concentrate fire on and well I don't like to be threatened so I'm going to attack the pirate and usually I like all right I power down the engine I put as much energy as I can into uh, the shields which is only bare minimum right now I can't really add on to that I have to upgrade it so I'm gonna attack their shields first and you'll notice the cooldown of the attacks right here uh, every time it reaches the top it'll attack anyways alright we give up we're terrible at pirating thing anyways hmm they, they offer us three fuel one drone parts and 14 scraps hmm you know what I'm a pretty nice guy so I'm gonna let them go for the price of whatever they decide to give me and now the danger is gone our relationship with them is neutral the class is a rock scout anyways uh, anything we have to do with them is now over so um, now that I have ooh, the oxygen level is not good so I'm gonna go heal that I didn't even notice and I'm gonna send Maria over here so now I'm going to power down my weapons. I'm just going to right click on these two and power the engines because we require power and an engine to jump. Um, I'm seeing what we can upgrade and at this point we only can upgrade our engines which is kind of important so I'll let's put one in there for now and now we can add one more bar all right and now we're ready to jump everything is optimal our hull we can't heal our hull uh, we have to go to the shop to heal that but that's why I add as much as I can to the shield because stores aren't always within reach although it is right now we don't have scraps to heal the hull a strange vessel approaches. A digital message appears on your view screen. This is an automated merchant. Refill with this uh, refill this vessel with fuel and it will supply you with the drones. Hmm. You know what? That's actually a fair deal. I rarely run across drone parts, so let's do it. We actually have to get a drone, and I have not yet to use one. So We'll figure that out as we go along. I'm still a novice at this game, but uh, let's move on. We're jumping at the speed of light teleportation. By the time you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid the fight. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to power down the engines. I'm going to put some into here, and now I'm going to left click onto their shields. Fire their shields. Fire upon their shields. Whoa. And as you can see, boom, they've sent the message. I cannot believe how well equipped this ship is. Please take this and let us live. Hmm. Okay, why not? Let's take it. Did you just attack? You butt faces. Anyways, let's power down. Power down our weapons by right clicking. Power up our engines. And let's get ready to jump again. Nothing seems to be injured, so we are okay.
Once you've arrived, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate ship seems to have advanced hacking tools and they've tried to shut down our engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Okay, unavoidable. Let's do this. Powering down. It looks like there's an enemy on our ship. I am targeting their shields right now. Fire upon... I'm, I'm asking all crew members to fire upon the enemy or fight the enemy. I'm opening the hatch on the side to stop the fires. Shields are taking damage. And so is my crew member, but I think they'll they'll live. So now the fire is out. I'm going to close the hatch and I'm going to heal this region. I'm going to move over to this damaged area. And let me see here. They are finished. They have a health bar up there, but anyways. With the pirate ship destroyed, your engines come online again. You salvage what you can from the debris. Fuel, four, and scrap, 23. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good yield, indeed. Anyways, the med bay is actually going down. And you'll notice his health is going down because the fire hurts him. I'm going to I'm going to make sure he can make it out alive. Just keep track of his health. And he's made it out. And the med bay will actually heal him while he's in there. I'm also going to move Stranger back in there. How's Maria doing? Full health, huh? Alright, well I'll have Maria fix this area. Is that what's going on here? I, I, I'm not sure if that orange means uh, no oxygen or if it means a damaged ship, but... It probably means no oxygen, so I'm going to move her out of there. Anyways, let's move um, Stranger back to the piloting area, and we can leave uh, Cad Cadwell over here. So, um, let's divert power to energy to the engine. Alright, and uh, let's upgrade one, to the sh one more to the shield. Not enough power. So our next upgrade will be for our uh, power bar, extra power. There's a distress signal. This usually means we get free stuff. For helping, of course. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Go down to the surface to investigate. You find a living man alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. I'm going to bring him back to the ship in hopes of finding some help for him. He seems to improve immensely upon getting back to the ship. It might take a while for him to truly be well again, but until he seems happy to serve as a member of your crew. Alright, Charlie, welcome to the party. And now if we hit F4, we can choose him, and he will be... Ooh, he walks a little sluggishly, and he actually looks pretty big. I'm going to... I'm going to leave him in the shield room. I hope you do well, Charlie. Let's jump. Um, The rebel beacon, the rebel area is starting to spread, but I believe we can make a few more jumps before we leave, so let's do so. All right, this beacon has been placed to close to a super giant class M star. <clears throat> the ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or move or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, so the game is paused for now, so we get time to think. So I'm immediately going to depower the engines, add weapons, attack their shields, and try to kill them before we die under this class M star. Let's do it. Beep, 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 beep. Shields, power up. Power up the weapons. Oh, I gotta power it down. Something else, too. Alright, attack. Pew. <laughs> Solar flares will do damage to our whole ship. Alright, let's just accept their offer and get the heck out of here. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, fix this stuff right here. And uh, power up the engines. Power down weapons. Divert all energy to engines. This is very dangerous. Hull at 75%. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. I should not have done that. All right, time to jump. Let's do it. And we are moving away because even though the rebels are getting closer, we have plenty of time, it seems. Oh. I will sell my six drone parts for 24 scrap. That sounds like a good deal to me. I do not have a drone. And I have not been using them, so... Yeah, and we need a few more power bars. Power bar protein. Anyways, that's good enough for now. Let's jump again. There's a store over here. And... Uh, I don't think we can really buy anything, so let's just keep going. We could repair our hull twice, but that's not really a big deal. A ship hails you. Good sir. It seems you're having troubles with the rebels. I'd like you... I'd like to help you, but I can't afford the upkeep required of this hunk of junk I'm flying. Maybe we can come to an arrangement? Hmm. Looks like we can't because I don't have enough scrap to pay him. So, looks like we're going to have to fight. I know this is just... He is neutral, though. I have no need for your services. You lucked out this time, you butt face. All right, let's head out. The rebels are getting quite close to us. You've arrived at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Cool. We have an anti-ship drone Mark II now. Too bad we don't have the drone parts because I've traded them, but that is okay. Okie dokie. Let's take the jump. Next sector. Do we want to go to the Uncharted Nebula sector or the Civilian sector? Let's go to the Civilian. They usually have more distress signals and whatnot. Welcome to the new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Alright. Distress signals everywhere. Yes. Let's help people. Hello, we use our last FTL fuel to jump to this station. They indicate a burnt out husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded here ever since. Give them fuel. Alright, let's do it. We get 38 scrap for that. Thank you. Here, have this extra scrap as payment. Yes, that was a lot of extra scrap. Alright, um... Let's do, what should we do? Uh, well, more energy might help us. And more energy, right? Door system, piloting, and uh, yeah, why not? Just more energy. All right, let's jump. Another distressed egg goal. yes, let's help. <clears throat> the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew cannot approach without fire being fired upon. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. You fire a few volleys from a distance and it's clear the defense system is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there's trouble. Laws. I didn't think we would cause trouble. Let's see. We might need to go to the store. I am running a little bit low on fuel and we can probably heal up the rest of the hull. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party to check it out. Away with you, party! Let's buy this fuel. A couple of missiles wouldn't hurt. But no, more, more fuel than a couple of missiles, actually. We can fix our hull for two scraps apiece. Pew, pew, pew. Alright, that, that makes me feel a little bit better. If we did save up a lot of scraps we could actually buy new weapons or a few augmentations automated reloader huh 15 percent. that's actually really good holy crap i'm gonna save my scrap from now on we'll see how i do it's actually pretty hard for me to save because i like shopping but that's besides the point let's jump 
This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. Oh no, not again. This ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here. Or die. A pirate is apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun. Moves in to engage. Okay, well you want some of this? Let's do it. Power down engines. All divert engine, engines and weapon power. I mean divert all. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. This drone is kicking my butt. Attack their shields. Alright, shields I think are down. Let's attack their drone because their drone is annoying the poop out of me. The sheep has repeatedly hails you. It looks like they want to surrender. No, not this time. I, I am not happy with them. Alright, we gained some fuel. We gained some stuff. I'm going to put out this fire here. Maria, good luck. Oh my, there's a fire. There we go. Fire is out. Oh gosh. We might we must divert all energy to engines. I forgot. I shouldn't have done that because I have plenty of energy now actually. All right. Oh goodness, Maria has died. I'm sorry. I was not paying attention. Charlie, please put out fire. We must jump. Oh, good. Oh, gosh. Maria, I'm sorry. I didn't realize there's too much to pay attention to. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious angel alien vessels. They hail you. Apparently, they have some valuable technology for sale. Oh. Well, not really looking for anything in particular. Let's see. Crew teleporter. Wow, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um... I'm, not, I'm actually not going to buy anything. I have to deal with my ship. Haha, <laughs> Charlie, he's stomping on the fire. Yay. That's so cute. Anyways, uh, let's look at where Cadwell is. There he is. The oxygen levels are slowly but surely being depleted. The crew is having a hard time breathing. Heal, please. Oh god, I believe, I don't believe we can make it. Go, go, go. Charlie, please, fix, fix oxygen. Oh no, my goodness. My crew is going to pass out. Trade places, hurry. Put, no, she didn't make it in time. Oh, this is why the other ship might be better, because... <laughs> it's much more compact and easier to travel with than all crew members have died your ship will continue to drift for eternity or until looters destroy it the score is 395 it's my new high score yay well that was that hopefully next time i will be doing better this is an ongoing series for sure anyways thank you guys for joining me and i will catch you guys next time peace